There he comes, kicking up the dirt. That most remarkable runner from Villiers Town and Waterford, who set his sights on conquering the world, who won competition after competition of bronze in these championships in the junior, was what gave the lift to press on. Then on he went to Providence College in Rhode Island, Dominican College, where he took a four-year scholarship in athletics, applied himself to accountancy, and has graduated with honors. Then back after winning, there goes Antipov, really piling on the steam, sprinting along. The crowd getting dangerously close to the course. Tracy with Antipov has now got about 70 meters behind him. But John has just got to go down to the end of the turn and then back up by the winning post. He couldn't have more now than about uh, 250 meters to go. Antipov has closed the gap, still about 70 meters. And there comes John Tracy, the greatest distance runner we have ever produced and certainly one of the greatest in the world of all time. The first man since the 40s to be winning this race for two successive years. He's got his hands in the air. He knows it's there. This 25,000 crowd is going delirious with excitement as John Tracy comes with only 50 yards to the finish. The Soviet is behind, battling with Malinowski, two of the great distance runners of the world, left way behind. John Tracy taking the 1979 World Cross Country title for the second successive year. A really astonishing performance for this 21.